What's up guys, today I'm gonna do a unboxing and review of the Uhomi IM-01 Protable Ice Maker. I believe they meant to say portable, but it says protable all over it. <laughs> so we're gonna get this thing unboxed and get it set up and test how well, it makes ice. Right. All right, there we go. So get this thing pulled out and get it set up. Alright, first off, it's pretty well packaged, had good foam all the way around, it has uh, corner protectors to keep the bottom edges from getting smashed in. Alright, there we go. Alright, there it is. Looks good. No damage or anything. So take a look in the instruction manual and see if there's any special instructions before we get it filled up and we'll go from there. Okay, after looking at the instructions, it looks like it just wants you to remove all the packaging. There's a couple pieces of tape in here, some on each side of the basket, um, and uh, there's a couple holding in the scoop that comes with it. Um, it did say that if the unit was on its side or um, not right side up to wait two hours before turning it on. Um, we've had the unit sitting upright since uh, last night when we got it, so uh, we don't have any issues there. Um, yeah, it says use uh, cool, clean water, not hot water, and uh, you should be able to just fill it up and plug it in. Just as a precaution before the first use, I'm just using a uh, vinegar and some paper towels to clean out the reservoir area and uh, the areas where the ice come out just to make sure that it's free of any oils or dust or anything from uh, transport or manufacturing. Okay, now that it's clean, I'm uh, filling it up with water. Uh, you can see kind of right there, there's a max fill line. Um, I'm just filling up the water from my fridge, which is filtered, uh, using my Yeti, which if you wanna see a Yeti versus Ozark Trail comparison video, check out my other videos. Um, this is two 30 ounce fillings, so that's 60 ounces. And then to get to that max fill line takes almost another 30. So that's about, I don't know, 85 ounces or so of, of water to the max line. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and see what it does. It says it'll have a three minute warm up period for the compressor and then it'll start chilling. So I'm going to start um, on the low setting. And we'll see how long from the time it first turns on to the time it drops ice. And then we'll see the time between cycles on the low setting. Okay, I got my timer going in the background, but I went ahead and plugged it in and turned it on. You can see there it's on low. It is starting to fill the reservoir up by the little uh, chiller coil. All right, I just thought I'd update. I just checked the clock and it just passed two and a half minutes from the time I hit the power button. And as you can see, there's already ice forming on the first few little uh, sections of coming off the coil. So very good performance right off the bat. Eight minutes and it's dumping the first batch of ice. Which Looks like there's a little bit of disparity in the size, but overall, I mean, not bad for eight minutes after I plugged it in, we've got ice. So 
now it's filling up the upper reservoir to chill again and I'll start the timer to see how fast it does the second batch. As you can see any water that runs over just goes right back down into the lower reservoir so it just keeps recirculating. Stop filling, now it's starting to chill again. All right guys, right at seven minutes for the second batch. I'm guessing that'll speed up as it gets cooler inside of the, the ice maker. But right now I have the lid closed so it should stay cool in there. Help with the lowering the ice production time back up for the next round. All right, I'm gonna let this go for two hours and we'll see how much ice is in the bin. Okay, so I moved underneath my cabinets here. Um, it's the two hour mark from when I plugged it in and the ice is full. Um, I made a mistake when I turned it on. Um, I saw the L and I was thinking low. Um, so I had it set on the large from the beginning. Um, L is actually large, S is small, obviously. Um, so it was on large the whole time and it was averaging seven minutes or less um, from the time that it dumped the ice to the time that it uh, dumped it the next time. So um, much better than the advertised time of 13 minutes. Um, what's nice is it does fit underneath the countertop, or sorry, it does fit underneath the cabinets. Um, and you can still open it and get out ice. The only other thing is at an hour and a half, it did say that the ice was full because it was blocking the sensor, just like you can see that piece of ice is there. Um, but the bin is full right now. Uh, so yeah, two hours was kind of the true time that it took on the large setting to completely fill the basket. I think that we're gonna take the ice out of the basket and put it in our freezer. Um, we have a nice new fridge that has a horrible ice maker. It uh, freeze it up, freezes up and stops making ice. So you have to go in there probably like once a week and uh, thaw it out with a hairdryer to keep it working. That's why we got this one to uh, supplement that. So there you go, there's a review of the Uhomey Portable, portable ice maker. Initial impression is that we're pretty pleased with it from the time that I plugged it in to now. It's two hours and we have a full bin of the large ice cubes. Um, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.